Hi, I'm Nancy Chanteau, and this is a video um, walking you through the four questions, which um, is a process that I modified from Eugene Genlin's um, focusing work. Um, focusing uh, is an approach that um, he came up with. He was a psychologist in the 60s, and um, he came up with this approach to working with clients because he found that um, when people brought their attention into their bodies, they were more likely to stay in therapy and have therapy be successful. So um, so the process of focusing helps people do that. Um, what I did was modify it to help people switch the work that's happening in their bodies. Um, essentially the child part of us is doing work and um, the child ego state and this process helps um, switch that work helps us figure out what that work is and then switch that work from the child to the wise adult consciousness, the wise adult ego state. So um, what you're gonna do is you're going to, you can either do this from the body up, um, find a place in your body that feels tense or stressed, or you can do it from a feeling state, feel into your body down, and then, um, and then once you find that spot, then orient around it. So um, for example, the question that I was working with was somebody who was dealing with some impatience. So I would invite that person to feel into that feeling of impatience, find the location where the impatience is located in their body, and then from that um, location, ask the following questions. And you're going to be doing it in a suggestion format rather than a question format. But you can just listen, you can close your eyes and listen to this video and it will walk you through the four questions. So feel the feeling or the sensation that you're orienting around and notice um, in that place in your body the if there's a central contraction or a place of holding or a place of pain or tightness bring your attention to that place and notice if there's a color or a shape or a texture a smell a sound a taste an image an emotion a sense of persona or story anything like that that gives you a clue about the shape, the feeling, the felt sense of this place. And then when you have that, go ahead and notice in that part of yourself if this part of you wants or needs anything. And let yourself inquire from that place. So try not to think a thought, try to feel into that place in your body and notice if that part of you wants or needs anything. And then once you have that, response. Notice if this part of you is taking care of you in some way or protecting you from something. So it might be doing a task on behalf of you, it might be trying to keep something from happening, or it might be trying to make something happen. And then finally, check in with this part of you and notice if this part of you, whatever you've been identifying, isn't responsible anymore for this activity, if it doesn't have to do this job anymore, if the wise adult consciousness could be doing this job, notice what this part of you would transform into or become. And just check in and see if there's a felt sense shift in this place. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. Um, when we do have a felt sense shift, Oftentimes it's because the wise adult has already been in action doing that thing and it's just a matter of transferring and getting this part of you to stop doing that work. Sometimes this process will just release that energy and it won't come back. Sometimes um, this part of us will operate more like a bellwether or um, uh, an alarm bell. Like it, it will tell you this old way of handling this problem is starting to emerge and the feeling, that sensation in your body is an indicator to bring yourself back to your wise adult consciousness, pay attention to this part of yourself, notice that there's a, a, a body part of you trying to solve a problem or take care of something or, or produce something that you want or need. And instead of doing that to transfer it over to the wise adult consciousness to really figure out how you would handle that from your wise adult rather than handling that from your um, embodied habitual response, the child part of us, the body part of us. and. Um, and, and actually doing the work, doing the work of changing the practice. So sometimes it is a quick release, sometimes it takes um, practice and presence in order to make the change. And anytime we're trying to change something from one thing to another, there's a 3,000 repetition process that's associated with that. So you might need to be patient with yourself as you're implementing that change. And um, I really encourage, you know, I encourage everybody not to get hopeless about change processes. Um, all we have to do is 
keep doing them. Um, change process generally takes uh, intention, the desire to do it, the understanding of what we're doing and why we're doing it, and repetition, the, the repeating of it, the same practice over and over again until it becomes embodied. Um, and just like when you learned how to drive a car, you didn't always feel comfortable changing lanes, and then all of a sudden it becomes something you can do without thinking. Embodying a practice, embodying a new habit is like that. The, the first times we do it, it's um, scary and challenging, and then as it gets embodied, it gets easier and easier. So I hope this helps. Uh, the four questions um, based on Eugene Genlin's focusing, um, bringing in wise built consciousness. Thanks.